Welcome guys to Symbol Tech Working Bench. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this project about arm cap Nelson Pass amplifier. And today we're gonna continue this project, starting soldering everything on the PCB board. But before starting with this video, I want to say a big thanks to all my subscribers, and I want to say that I really appreciate your support to my channel. Few of them they subscribe especially for this video series about arm cap Nelson Pass amplifier, and I really appreciate that one. Thank you so much for doing that. And then if you are new watching this video and you are new to my channel please smash that subscribe button and activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss any of my videos. So now guys let's go to my working bench and start playing around with the soldering iron. Okay, so these are all the components that we need for this project. Capacitor, resistor, MOSFETs, FETs and transistor. I want to mention something because on the breadboard, when I did the test, I used 2SK246 and BC550 instead of these two components over here. Because the kit come with these ones. But in the meantime, I buy the exactly one on the schematic. So this is the ZX450 and this is the 2SK170. So now, let me prepare all the resistors and all the components with the pins to look like this one and we're gonna start soldering. the components are ready to be soldered let's bring here the PCB boards and heat up the iron and start solder them and now that all the components are on the right place let's turn this board over and start soldering The only things that I want to mention is that the power uh, MOSFETs they will not be soldered on the PCB board because they are going to be mounted on the heatsink and with wires they are going to be soldered from the heatsink to the PCB board. Okay, so it's time to remove the board from here. Abracadabra! And here we go! Two boards. So it looks like I'm also a magician. And here we go. This is how we're gonna look the amplifier finished. So I'm gonna use this heat sink. It's more than enough. I tested it's barely getting uh, warm. So it will gonna do perfect for this amplifier. And I have the two channels over here. I will not be able to do a test right now because I don't know if everybody knows, but the um, Amcamp Nelson Pass amplifier they will not work well if you're sharing the same power supply. So you need to have separate power supply like monoblocks in order to work well i tested with the uh, sharing the same power supply burley can uh, get out uh, only 1.7 volt rms in 8 ohms per channel and then i test them separately it's going same up to 7 volts uh, rms uh, per channel but with uh, sharing the same power supply it will not work well so that's why we're gonna do a test when i'm gonna mount it on the next part on the chassis because i'm waiting the transformer to arrive i order a transformer with dual 15 volt holds AC separately so I'm gonna use two separate bridge rectifiers and two separate uh, smoothing capacitors for it. So I want to mention something uh, about my previous video about amp camp amplifier because uh, I noticed that someone uh, commented on my video and say that uh, my breadboard test was not uh, make it okay or I don't know. So I'm gonna go to my computer to show you what I'm talking about. Oh look who is here. He come to check if everything is correctly mounted here. You are Mr. Engineer. Hey Mr. Cut. So say something to my subscribers. I say something to my subscriber. I say. So I think he wants to say. 
If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe, activate the notification bell, like that you're gonna see me on the next videos as well. Yeah, he's a very naughty cat. Sometimes if I let him alone, he's coming to check what I'm doing here and always is putting his nose and my electronic stuff. Anyway, let's go to my computer and check about this uh, comment and let's see if he's right or not. So here we go, let's open the comments of Amcam Nelson Pass Amplifier, Breadbot Tests, and let's see the comments here. So practically Mr. Lemmerts, he comment and he say you didn't build the circuit properly in the breadboard if you are getting 5.5 watts the amp puts out 8 watts you are also causing a lot of issue when you have flying leads of your output devices so far away secondly adding a diode is causing issue and changing the resistor from 1k to 1.5 isn't doing nothing build the circuit in the boards and you will see it will work better okay so I replied to him that first is just a breadboard or test and you just need to connect the things how shows in the schematic and then I ask him to come with a theory to explain with the theory which issue can cause the diode where I just add a diode and I just mentioned that the resistor the 1k resistor doing the load of the first FET so increasing the value definitely you're gonna put less load on the first FET and then I just told him to read the PDF uh, form about uh, this uh, amplifier so if we click on this one it's leading you to the amp comp pdf by nelson pass so everything what is written here is written by nelson pass so if we go down to the performance the performance say clearly constructing this circuit results in a power amplifier which has 14 db of voltage gain and 5 watts of output power the input impedance is 10k and dumping factor is about 3 i don't see any place that mentioned that the power is 8 watts how he said definitely i cannot see in this uh, going to diy store scrolling down scrolling down here yeah i can see that it say it's a got a new high quality 24 uh, volts 5 one power supply increasing power from the previous 5 watts to 8 watts i don't think so that can happen if you scroll down and it say read more amp camp article hosted on a diy audio if you go here it's say clear nelson pass is the one that he write this article and if we go down again and we read about the performance the performance nelson pass say the same constructed this uh, result a power of uh, 5 watts of power doesn't say nothing about 8 watts power i don't know from where he's coming with 8 watts anyway the schematic it will never put out 8 watts maybe yeah but with a lot of distortion okay so this is his uh, youtube channel if you might want to subscribe to him please feel free and subscribe he's doing also audio things please guys leave your comment down below on this video and tell me what do you think about the modification and about mr limmer said uh, that my test was wrong and i'm I should have 8 watts. Thanks guys for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. Please put a like down there if you enjoy this video. Like that you're gonna help the YouTube algorithm to share to a wider audience my videos. Stay tuned please because in the next part of this project I'm gonna start building the power supply because I already ordered the transformers but I should uh, receive it maybe next week so and I'm gonna start doing a video building the power supply of this uh, amplifier. So until the next video guys bye bye. Did I say also you something to the to the people there? Guys, see you in the next video. Bye bye.